Hi friends and welcome to another video on the Racing Family channel. My name is Big Z and today I will present you another mod for the game Assetto Corsa version 116.3-116.4. And as you can see on your screens the car in the question is a Porsche 911-992 GD3 Cup. All credits for this mod goes to an unknown author and all credits for updating this mod goes to a guy named Replio. And thank you unknown author and thank you Replio for your time and for your hard work on this mod. In the description of this video you will have a link to download this mod for free. Direct link to download mod will be attached to each video in the description if mod is free. All link from the page where you can buy mod if isn't. The rare folder you get from download link will have a car inside with one basic skin version. For this mod you need to have a custom shader patch to be able to use this car in the game. The Porsche's first 911 Cup car was presented to the public in the 1990s and it was completely based on the 964 generation. Later that year the Porsche 911 964 car had its first official race debut at the German Porsche Carrera Cup with 260 brake horsepower. Since the 1993 that car has also competed in the newly formed Porsche Super Cup which at that time was driven as a part of a Formula 1 support program. A year later, for the 1995 season, the Porsche replaced its Porsche 964 with a Porsche 911 993. The Porsche 911 993 was completely based on the Porsche 993 Carrera 2 and it was used in the Porsche Super Cup for the seasons 1994 to 1997. The 1995 the car was updated with aero parts from the new Carrera RS, used in a car for another two years and then replaced it with a brand new Porsche 911 GT3 996. The Porsche 911 GT3 996 was driven in the Porsche Super Cup from the 1998 to 2001. It became a basis for the at that time upcoming 996 GT3 road car which was featuring a 3.6 liter boxer engine on basis of the GT1 block. For the 2001 season the GT3 Cup received modified aerodynamics including an enlarged rear wing and improved cooling. These modifications continued in the seasons from 2002-2004, so Porsche decided to keep the old car but they constantly updated. That's how we got the successor to the 911-996 called simply the Porsche 911-996-2. For 2002 season the GT3 Cup received several changes based on the 996-2 Carrera and Turbo models including turbo style headlights. The new body was significantly improved, aerodynamics and cooling. Engine output was also increased to 375 brake horsepower and 380 Nm of torque. Further changes at that time was included and improved transmission cooling, lightning exhaust system and other light vane measures across the car. For the 2004 season the car received further upgrades, engine power is once again increased slightly to 385 brake horsepower. Gear ratios of 4th, 5th and 6th gears has been shortened and for the first time changes have been made to the interior to allow the use of Hans device. In the 2005 season Porsche came in with a brand new car called the Porsche 911997. In the period from the 2004 to 2009 the car underwent significant changes, aerodynamics was improved and lighted CFRP parts including doors, rear body panels, engine deck lead and the rear wing. For 2010 to 2012 season Porsche used basically the same car only the number 2 was added in the name of the car and the Porsche 911997-2 was born. It was raced in the Porsche Super Cup seasons from 2010 to 2012, which was based completely on the 997-2 GT3 RS. The car features a 3.8 liter engine and enlarged rear wing, adopted from the 911 GT3 Cup S, additional uniball joints on the truck control arms and front and rear anti-roll bars. For 2013-2016 season Porsche was came up with a brand new car, car in the question was the Porsche 911 991. It was based on the 911 991 GT3 and for the first time the GT3 Cup cars was got the new gearbox pedal shifters. For the 2017-2012 season the Porsche was used the same car, the Porsche 911 991 II. It was based on the latest 911 GT3 road car and it got a small upgrade, larger 4 liter flat 6 boxer engine, improved aerodynamics and an enlarged escape hatch. For the 2021 season the newest Porsche 911 992 GT3 Cup car is here. 
Then in this beautiful beast we have a horizontally opposite 4 liter flat 6 water cooler boxer engine with 510 brake horsepower and 470 Nm of torque. Engine is located at the back of the car, longitudinally mounted. The whole engine is made from the aluminium, we have aluminium, alloy block and cylinders head. Inside we have a 4 valves per cylinder DOHC in total 24. Fuel feed, direct fuel injections, lubrication, dry zamp. Bore dimension 102mm, stroke dimension 81.5mm. Displacement of this engine is 3996 cubic centimeter. Brain of this engine or ECU are built by Cosworth Motorsport. The new GT3 can run on synthetic fuels, which significantly lowers CO2 emissions under racing conditions. In this engine, 126 brake horsepower feed 1 liter of the fuel. In this car, this engine is paired with sequential 72 kg heavy 6 speed dog type gearbox via single mass flywheel and a 3 plate centered metal racing clutch. Gear changes are made via pedal shift on the steering wheel, and this gearbox needs minor inspections after every 16 hours of racing. A major overhaul is scheduled after every 120 hours of the race. The entire Porsche 992 chassis is made in a combination of two materials, aluminium and steel monocoque. The body of the previous generation of the car, the Porsche 9912, was also made in a combination of these two materials, but in ratios of 70% steel and 3% aluminium. The ratios of these two materials in the successor has been switched. In this new car, the chassis was made from the 70% of aluminium and 3% of steel. The fact is that the Porsche 992 still weighs about 35 kg more than its older brother, but it has 25 brake horsepower more than the Porsche 9912. So some of will say, okay, that means we have a new shape of car, but with the same performance. In principle, yes, that means that. The suspension of the 911 Cup offers the finest in racing technology. On the front axle we have a double visual suspension with unibel bearings, actuated coil springs and dampers via compression and rebound adjustable anti-roll bar. And for the first time a fully electromechanical power steering has been added to the Porsche 911 Cup car, which means that the hydraulic pump and associated hydraulic lines are no longer needed. Suspension on the rear axle essentially remains unchanged compared to the production model. We have a multi-link adjustable for height, camber and toe. We have a forge control arm stiffness optimized with a double shear chuck road connection and we have a heavy duty spherical bearings with forge and adjustable top mounts with double blade and adjustable anti-roll bars. Brakes in this car on the front axle we have a Brembo Ventility Steel Racing Brake Disc with 6 pistons monoblock calipers dimension 380mm. And on the rear axle we have also Brembo Ventility Steel Racing Brake Discs dimension 380mm with 4 pistons monoblock calipers. Wheels and tires in this car on the front axle we have a single piece alloy wheels with center lock wheel nuts confirming to Porsche specifications and design, dimension 12 inch wide and 18 inch in diameter equipped with Michelin racing tires dimension 365 R18. And on the rear axle we have also single piece alloy wheels with center lock wheel nuts confirming to Porsche specifications and design, dimension 13 inch wide and 18 inch in diameter equipped with Michelin racing tires dimension 3171 R18. Length of this car 4585 mm, wide 1920 mm, wheelbase 2459 mm, weight of this car 1260 kilos, fuel capacity 110 liters. This was the basic information about the Porsche 911992 GT3 Cup car. Now we will go to the track to see how this car will handle with all obstacles on most beautiful track in Europe, the Le Mans track. Ok my friends, we are behind the steering wheel of the Porsche 911 992 GT3 Cup car and we are on the Le Mans track, one of the most beautiful tracks in Europe. On the left side of your screens you have a speedometer, where you can see the top speed of this newest car from the Porsche. The first thing what you will notice when you step into this miracle from the Porsche is a carbon fiber. You will notice the carbon fiber on the dashboard, on the doors, on the steering wheel, driver's seat and even on the roof of the car where there is a touch of the internal mirror whose frame is made entirely from the carbon fiber. On the dashboard also you will notice a material similar to the Alcantara which largely covers the dashboard, leaving enough space for 5 air vents which have the task of ensuring the circulation of fresh air inside of the car. 
Also inside of this car we have a roll cage made with all FIA regulations, we have a new racing seat that is made entirely of carbon fiber and which for the first time can be adjusted to two height settings. In front of the driver we have a redesigned multifunctional steering wheel made entirely of carbon fiber which is another development adopted from the 911 GT3 R car. We are on the straight of the Le Mans track in 6th gear and I didn't do any adjustments on this car to go faster, this is what you get when you download the mod and link where you can download this mod will be in the description of this video. 289 km per hour so far, let's see is at the highest of speed of this very nice looking car from the Porsche. 290 km per hour, okay, the top speed of the Porsche 911-992 GT3 Cup car is 290 km per hour and this is for Cup car really nice result. On the steering wheel, my friends, we have an illuminated buttons and knobs and with them the driver can operate with the entire system of the car. These buttons are easy to use even in the heat of the race and they have a design central functions. On them you can adjust the brakes balance, turn off or on the lights, wiper, ventilation or to change the tire settings from dry to wet tires. Behind the multifunctional steering wheel is a main screen in a joint style where you can see all important data from the car, all the pressure, oil temperature, your lap times, in which gear you are, your moving speed and you can see how much fuel you have on the electronic fuel gauge. Above the main screen you have a rev counter light which works very nice and when you turn on lights the main screen and the buttons on the steering wheel glow. Outside in this car all important things work, main lights, daytime running lights, brake lights, tail lights, wiper and when you start to roll through the pit lane all lights start to flash and even the indicators. But until that moment they don't work and in a second this car transforms itself into a true Christmas tree. This car also has many things adjustable. You have adjustable rear wing, brakes bias, brakes power, alignment, tires, pressure, suspension, dampers, but you can't change the gear ratio in the game which is a small minus. You have 12 map setups for traction control, 11 maps for ABS and 1 map for the engine. You have 4 different set of tires, 3 types of slicks, soft, medium, hard and 1 set of rain tires. The car as a mod in the game is really unbalanced. Truth is the steering wheel is very sharp and precise, but front end is very light and on each bump you will have the feel like the car will take off every second. On the other hand the rear end is very heavy and sluggish and in every curve you will have the feel like you are driving on the ice. The brake discs glow with nice orange paint during the braking but don't think about it to brake with this car in a curve the same moment after you do that you will have a massive understeer each time. Use the brakes before cornering then just let the tires to regain grip so you can get out of the corner safely. When the car decelerates or doing the gear change, you will notice the flames from two exhaust pipes located at the back of the car. For this mod, my friends, you need to have a custom shader patch to be able to use this car in the game. Okay, now we will go to the pit lane of the Le Mans track to get conclusion about the Porsche 911 992 GT3 Cup car. This was the Porsche 911 992 GT3 Cup car and conclusion is very simple. The new Porsche 911 GT3 992 is one of the best looking cup cars created so far and the styling of the latest Porsche 911 works extremely well with the new aerodynamic package. Of course looks don't matter that much when it comes to racing but the new Porsche's beast has what it takes to replace its highly popular processor. This car in the game may not be perfect, but that is not something what one or two small updates can fix. But one thing is for sure, with this car you will certainly improve your driving skills. My friends, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, like. If you don't like it, dislike. Share if you want. Stay safe, health and remember, always wear your seatbelt when you drive. See you in the next video. Bye.